Welcome back. All right, so, Redeem Verbata. Going to talk about the career of a Czech player who played a long time in the NHL, more than a 1,000 games worth. And a pretty decent scorer during his time as well. He was a number 212 pick in 1999. So he is a late draft pick, a recently retired Hornquist, of course, the latest draft pick he can get. Well, Verbot is not far off. So he's drafted in 99. He wouldn't make his debut with Colorado until the 0102 season. He plays 52 games, 18 goals, 12 assists, 30 points. So the offense is there. And if he played the full 82 game season, probably would have had about 25 goals, maybe more. But he had nine games in the playoffs, no points there. Uh, he ends up sixth in Calder voting. So he barely misses the 01 Stanley Cup win for Colorado. And there's another Stanley Cup he barely misses out on as well. We'll get to that. So 0203, only his second year in Colorado. 66 games, 11 goals, 19 assists, 30 points. And he ends up being traded. March the 11th, he was traded to the Carolina Hurricanes for Bates Battaglia. So with Carolina after the trade in 10 games in the 0203 season, five goals, no assists, for so five points overall. But five goals in 10 games, not too shabby. 0304, his numbers actually drop off a bit. So 80 games played, 12 goals, 13 assists, 25 points. His time in Carolina is not really a highlight. In fact, 0506, so after the lockout takes out the season of 0405. In 0506, he plays 16 games with Carolina, two goals, three assists, five points. And then he's traded on December 29th to the Chicago Blackhawks in exchange for a 2000 and seven fourth round pick so just kind of a, a trade just one of those really minor deals right but after that trade to chicago his numbers pick up he plays 45 games for the hawks in 0506 13 goals 21 assists 34 points so that's pretty good totals right uh 39 points that's a career high for him beating the 35 he had in 0203 then 0607 he has a full season in chicago 77 games 14 goals 27 assists 41 points, but after the season is done, Chicago decides to make a trade. So he's traded on August the 11th of 07 in exchange for Kevin Adams. Yes, the GM of the the Buffalo Sabres uh, traded for Redeem Verbata. And Arizona, it, the odd thing for me with, with Verbata and Arizona was I never understood why he left Arizona. It just one of those things. So 07-08. In Arizona, 76 games, 27 goals. So that's the equivalent almost of the previous two seasons combined. 29 assists, 56 points. So that sets a career high in points to that point in his career. Uh, and he really has the best year of his career. And then he goes to free agency. He leaves Arizona. So on July the 1st, he signs as a free agent with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, playing with Tampa Bay, he had a hard time. He had a hard time with his confidence and with his focus. He ends up playing 18 games with Tampa Bay that year, three goals, three assists, six points. Now, normally, it would be injury that caused that season to be shortened, but on the 8th of December, he actually returned home to the Czech Republic as his wife was having a very difficult pregnancy. It would be very, very, very tough to deal with that when you're, you know, an ocean away from your significant other while they're dealing with that. So totally understandable. He ends up finishing up the season playing in Czech. And so he only has the 18 games as a member of the Tampa Bay Lightning. And then prior to the following season, he ends up getting traded. So on July 21st, he ends up being traded back to the Arizona Coyotes, whom he should not have left. Uh, in exchange, going back to Tampa Bay, Todd Federick, as well as, or Fedoric, as well as David Hale. So... It's a trade that I would say favors Arizona, but it's not like Tampa Bay had a lot to, to a lot of standing here. Three goals, three assists in 18 games. And yeah, Arizona's willing to make the trade. So 2009-2010 plays all 82 games that year for the Arizona Coyotes. 24 goals, 19 assists, 43 points. Again, should just stayed in Arizona. Seven games, two goals, two assists, four points for him in the playoffs. 2010-2011, as the Coyotes are really relevant at this point. In the 09-10 season, those team, that team's seen as potentially the best ever for an Arizona team. I would lean with 2011-2012, but uh, polling... Uh, there was something I was reading when I was researching this, that the polling indicated that fans felt the 09-10 team was the best. But anyways, 2010-2011, 79 games, 19 goals, 29 assists, 48 points. So one goal short of 20 again. In the playoffs, four games... Two goals, three assists, five points. 2011-2012, a pretty special season for the Coyotes. 77 games for Verbata, 
35 goals, which is a career high, so pretty special for him as well. 27 assists, 62 points, which is almost the highest in his career. In the playoffs, 16 games as the Arizona Coyotes went all the way to the conference final that year. Two goals, three assists, five points. He has the same points total in the playoffs in 2012 as he has in 2011. Sure, why not? 2012-2013, a lockout shortened season. Uh, he did miss some games that year. He plays 34 for the Coyotes, 12 goals, 16 assists, 28 points. So one thing that stands out with him is there's an inconsistency from season to season with his scoring. And that's where people got frustrated if they had him in fantasy, this kind of thing. But yeah, there is, there is some inconsistency there, but he's still a good scorer. So 2013-2014, he plays 80 games with the Coyotes, 20 goals, 31 assists, 51 points. But he goes to market. So rather than staying in Arizona, which I felt at the time would have been smart, he actually, July the 3rd, signs with the Vancouver Canucks. The Canucks coming off the 13-14 season, which was poor. The 14-15 season, things get better. And honestly, Verbata's signing is a big part of why. And it's the only year he appears in the All-Star game in his career. So he plays 79 games with Vancouver. Why did he sign with Vancouver? He wanted to play with the Sedins. It worked out for him. 31 goals, which is second only to that 35-goal season there. 32 assists, 63 points. They make the playoffs with Willie Desjardins behind the bench. Two goals, two assists, four points in six games for Verbata. So things look really good, right? Verbata coming to the Canucks and, I mean, you know, they, they, they look like they were on a downswing, but things get better. They make the playoffs. But it, it doesn't last with Verbata. Uh, the second season in Vancouver is much, much less in terms of the scoring, in terms of the overall play. Uh, 63 games for Verbata the following year in Vancouver. 13 goals, 14 assists, 27 points. And he had only signed a two-year contract with the Canucks. I believe the total was for like $10 million. So he ends up going to market. And it takes a while. But August the 16th of that summer, he signs as a free agent with the Arizona Coyotes, one-year deal. And back with Arizona, what does he do? Well, what he does in Arizona, he gets points. 81 games, 20 goals, 35 assists, 55 points. No idea why he didn't just have his whole career in Arizona. One of those things where you, you look at it and you go, good in Arizona, good in Arizona, good in Arizona. Probably should have just been in Arizona. But then he becomes a free agent, again, the summer of 2017, and he signs with the Florida Panthers July the 1st. Uh, and his season with the Panthers doesn't go as planned. 42 games, 5 goals, 9 assists, 14 points. So the points totals drop off. He ends up retiring the summer following this. So he ends up with 1,057 games played in his career. 284 goals, 339 assists, 623 points. And again, when you're drafting a guy at 212th, if you get 623 points out of him, that's not too shabby. In the playoffs, 42 games, 8 goals, 10 assists for 18 points. Uh, he did end up getting gold at the World Juniors in 2001, so right around that rookie season there. Uh, 2005, he had gold at the World Championships, which of course was not impeded by the NHL having a season in 0405. Uh, his 45 career shootout goals at the time he retired, uh, that was the highest total, but he has been surpassed since then. Uh, by Jonathan Taves, Patrick Kane, uh, Franz Nielsen, TJ Oshie, and Joe Pavelski. But that's it. Outside of them, no one has bettered his total of 45 career shootout goals. So Verbata, nice solid career. Interesting for a video because again his totals do tend to fluctuate. But some pretty solid performances. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.